So I'm joined by uh, Champs City manager Robbie Simpson ahead of uh, the Oxford City game on uh, Saturday. Uh, firstly, what's been the situation regarding preparation, considering we haven't been able to play since uh, January the 19th? Yeah, um, none really, especially. <laughs> I mean, we obviously thought we might have been playing against Slough, so um, we had training on the Thursday before that game. Um, but obviously, we, we, we got told officially on the Friday that that game wasn't going ahead, so we trained on um, on the Saturday, trying to prepare for, for the Monday game. Um, but then obviously that was snowed off. And then unfortunately, due to the weather, we, we haven't been able to get together since. Um, so um, we're going to have a Zoom. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have a Zoom tonight, me and the players, just to discuss um, tomorrow against Oxford and how we want to go about um, how we want to go about potentially beating them or the, or the best way we can against them because uh, we've done some some analysis on them that we want to show the lads as well. And um, they're a very good team, very, very good team. And and then comes thick and fast, we've got Dorking on Monday as well. So, um, yeah, I might have to do another Zoom between Saturday and Monday. Um, but, yeah, preparation isn't ideal, yeah, but I'm sure other clubs have had had difficulties themselves and although some clubs have been playing matches which obviously helps um yeah we'll we'll, we'll be go there as best prepared as, as we possibly can and have you enjoyed having a, a few uh, a bit more time on the training pitch um or is it frustration that we haven't been able to play well we haven't had time on the training pitch this week either because okay. of the weather so right. li- yeah we've the lads have been doing their own stuff at home and and, and sending their Stravas in to, to the WhatsApp group just to motivate each other to do more. And so it's been it's been good to see the group come together in adversity. Um, but obviously, we'd, we'd much prefer to have the lads training and, and together and, and preparing with the ball at their feet, playing with each other. So, like I say, it's, it's been far from ideal, but it is what it is. And we're just, we're really happy that we've got a game um, because we're, we're in a privileged position where we can still play play football so um we're really looking forward to it yeah and now um a bit of a squad update firstly um um the situation with uh, Alex Teniola and Phil Roberts if you want to explain their situations yeah, so, yeah both Alex and Phil are, are no longer with us um they're both really great players um but it happens sometimes where it just doesn't work out at football clubs I've had it myself when uh, at Huddersfield probably is my, my biggest example of, of it where I went there and it didn't quite work out for me or for the club and uh, and a parted ways. So it doesn't mean I was any less a player or it just meant that it just wasn't wasn't quite a, a good fit for, for that moment in time. Um, and unfortunately for, for Alex and Phil, we, we struggled to score goals at the start of the season and I felt like we had to bring new new players in and... And suddenly that gave gave us an impetus to, and, and we scored more goals. But it's it's of no detriment to them. It's just they're still really good players. I still love them both as, as people. But these things happen in football, unfortunately. So we, we wish them well and um, and we move on. OK. And uh, how about there's an, uh, an injury update. We've had uh, Cameron James and Billy Crook um with sort of short short term injuries, and then people, I was wondering on the progress of Elliot Omazuzi, who's not played this season. Yeah, so Elliot's finally doing some some rehab. I think he's uh, he, he can walk normally now, um, which is great, and he's just started to maybe do a li- bit, little bit of light jogging. So obviously, a really bad injury for him is, is an Achilles tear is really bad operation and it takes takes a while to walk again let alone run again to then play football um so he'll still be a while a while away whether he makes it back before the start of the season I don't know um but yeah Elliot's Elliot's such a good um person to to have around the group he's he's someone that would always um want to want to keep around and obviously we're, Tom and Dave will help him do his rehab um and Cameron and Billy uh, still not quite there. Um, you know, Billy had a really nasty injury in training. We pretty much dislocated his elbow. Um, so 
although although it doesn't he can do some leg work and all that a large part of football is is being able to use your arms um so he's still a little way away and Cameron's making really good progress I expected him to to beat the time scale that we gave him because he's such a fit lad and such a determined lad and he's definitely ahead of schedule and um we hope he's not too far away okay and the rest of the squad's fit and healthy for Saturday Uh, there's a few um, there's a few doubts. Um, I think a couple of players will have a fitness test. One player had food poisoning. Um, another player uh, who has already had COVID has um, received a, an email off the NHS saying that he'd been in close contact with someone who'd got it. So unfortunately, even though he's had it, he, he will still have to self-isolate. Um, so... So yeah, again, not ideal, but that's that's the season we're having. That's the world we're living in at the minute. Um, and we, like I say, I believe in our squad and I believe in our young players. So um, yeah, we're we're still in a really positive positive time frame. It's far from ideal, but that's what it is at the minute. And um, we'll, we'll be going to to Oxford, looking to as best we can. Yeah, and moving on to Oxford. Uh, thanks very much to them for agreeing to move the fixture because neither of us were playing our scheduled opponent. Um, we had a 1-1 draw with them the first home game of the season. Um, but they're a form team in the division. It's, um, I think they're 11 unbeaten since they lost to Shrewsbury in the FA Cup. So it's going to be a really tough game against them. Really tough game. I think that they are the best team that I've seen this season, in all honesty. I think they're really, really good. They've got a certain structure about them that's that's really working they're working really really hard and um, they've got an intense press that they seem to be able to maintain um, which is tough to play against and they've got quality and they've got some quality players so yeah I, I think from from watching them and from our first game against them um, you know that first game against them we did really really well we played really really well to get a draw so that's how tough it's going to be at their place even harder in fact so um yeah it's going to be a tough game but one that we're excited about excited to test ourselves against the best best teams in our league and um yeah like I say we follow up with a, a game against Dorking on Monday so it doesn't get any easier um <laughs> but we're certainly just fully focused on on tomorrow first and foremost and like you say thank you to them to um to arrange this game and we're just delighted to be back playing football and uh, I suppose we can take confidence in the fact that we beat St Albans away um, a couple of games ago when they were undefeated. Yeah, absolutely. We've got we've got some momentum this calendar year. You know, we, we really have. And we didn't want the break. We didn't want the break and we just wanted to carry on so we could keep the momentum going. And it's down to us to try and not let the break that we've had affect that momentum and affect that positivity and affect our confidence and and belief and we've got to make sure that um we can we can build on the momentum we've started this calendar year and it's going to be tough because we've got really tough opposition but like you said St Albans were really tough opposition unbeaten this season and we went there and did a really good job and and beat them 2-0 so we'll be looking to channel some of that um some of that aspect of of the St Albans game for sure and finally how excited are you to be seeing your Chelmsford team finally take the pitch after a few, almost a month off mid-season. Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. It's been, it's been frustrating. It's been frustrating. Like I said, we didn't want the break and then we thought we were going to have a game and didn't. And then we thought we were going to have another game and didn't. And then we haven't been able to train. So it, it'd just be good to get the lads together. You know, I love spending time with them and that they're, they're a great bunch of lads who are working extremely hard and, It'd be great just to, to to be with them again, really, and and to fight for each other, and hopefully we can come away with something. Okay, Robbie, good luck uh, over the weekend, long weekend, and a couple of tough games. Yeah, cheers, Ben. Thank you.